Thank you for joining us. On our show today, we have uh, Dr. Caraway, we have Brenda Fortson, and we have Jamila Coleman Brown. We have a great show for you. Viewer discretion advised. Hello everyone. Today we have Dr. Brenda Fortson, uh, who has been at MCC. Now, how long have you been with us? Eleven years. Eleven years, and you are—you uh, just got—you finished your doctorate last in year. education last year. So, congratulations on that. Thank you. But you are uh, our single place, a uh, single parent displaced homemaker counselor. Okay. Yes. Now, so what does that job entail? Well. Actually, our most recent title is Support Service Coordinator. Pardon me. Pardon but me. I work with single parents and homemakers and really anybody else. Um, and so uh, my target group of people, single parents and homemakers, and those who are in career and technical programs. Okay. And so we provide uh, several services. Uh, Gina Mills is my coworker who also provides support services, and she takes care of students with disabilities. And um, my side of the house, I call it, is uh, doing things like a book loan service okay. where we loan books to students who don't have financial aid that covers the cost of their books. Um, I don't have every single book for every course, sure. but um, I have a lot of books. And what a student can do is borrow the books from me. And as soon as the semester is over, he or she can return the books. We have a food pantry on campus. Um, that's available to any student or employee of MCC, and there's no um, qualification process or anything. There's no form to fill out. So I if just, they just come to you and say, "I need, I need food," mm -hmm. okay, and whether they, it's an employee or a student here, mm -hmm. okay, I get food. All I need is the person's MCC ID because I keep up with how often we use the food pantry. Okay, um, and there are uh, some other things that that I do, I tutor students who are learning to speak English, okay. um, ESL students. Um, I don't have a student this semester, uh, but I have in the past because that's sort of different from just taking your English course. You also teach uh, uh, Spanish, don't you, mm -hmm. I believe, right? Mm -hmm. So you teach Spanish, all levels of Spanish or Spanish? Usually just Spanish one or two, and it's usually online okay. if we need to add some additional sections. Okay, and, and you also teach our, some of our English classes. Yes. Okay. It, so when you, needed. So, uh, you know, that, that I just wanted to point that out because if you're helping someone, you know, uh, with uh, speaking or, you know, writing English or learning English, you know, you're able to teach Spanish and you're able to teach the English as well separately. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry I interrupted. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm also a certified uh, ESL teacher as Wonderful. far as like K-12, you know, we have certification and all that. So that's, that's another one of my areas. Um, and so another thing that I do is a little bit of counseling, okay. but it is not for serious matters that are happening in your life kind of counseling. Right. It's um, lighter counseling where sometimes people just need somebody to talk to and they don't have maybe encouragement at home or good um, feedback in their peer group or whatever. And so Gina and I both do some counseling and um, if students need more serious uh, counseling, if you know, if they need a trained professional counselor, then we can provide them with information where students can receive that counseling for free. Right. Uh, but I'm just not qualified to be someone's um, mental health counselor. Right. I think if you're if you're a student, a full time student here, you have a certain number of visits. Yes. that you can use per semester right. to get counseling services if needed. Right, from a professional from trained From a professional trained counselor. Because uh, I remember hearing you talk about this, and, you know, I came up immediately afterwards, and I, and I, I think I said something like, you know, hey, I, I, I listen to people too, but I just love gossip. <laughs> but I'm the well, same way. I, tell, I still tell students, listen, right. I will listen to you, but I'm not a counselor. You know, right. perhaps, and I had someone recently where I said, you know, this is above me. Uh, you know, yes. I, I just feel completely unqualified to, right. to, you know, to help you with this. Right. And uh, so I said, I, again, pointed them in the right direction. Yes. I wanted to mention something about um, uh, Gina Mills. Now, she does the, the uh, we used to call it special populations, mm -hmm. but it's now career and technical 
Support, support service coordinator. Sur sur pardon me, support service coordinator. So you have to have a, do a documented disability yes. and then services are available. Right. And so you have to uh, you talk to her and so there's some paperwork to fill out, mm -hmm. but then the services include uh, extended time to test, testing in a room by yourself, note takers, things like that. But you handle these uh, single parent displaced homemakers and this is not just for women. Right. It is just single parent displaced mm -hmm. homemakers, so it could be, you know, young men as well. Right. Okay. Um, and usually it's, it's older people who are non-traditional students who didn't just graduate from high school um, because that age group has less issues with navigating school and work and home and family and all those things where um, people who are more in my age group or nearing my age group uh, have a lot to juggle and, and sure. figure out and work out. And so that's one of the areas where I can help with um, connecting a student to resources that we don't have on our campus that, that might help the student with other things that mm -hmm. are going on in life. Well, the whole point of this is to keep students enrolled Mm -hmm. have them succeed in what they're doing so that they can get out and have a, have a good career and yes. eventually hopefully support themselves yes. and their families. Right. And, and so if we can just do that, you know, and so the food pantry will help, the book uh, uh, lending will help. Yes. Can you, is there anything that you think of that, that you've just noticed as far as uh, a need of students? You know, just, you know, because we, we constantly talk about, well, how do we keep them? How do we keep them? How do we make sure they succeed? What are we doing? Are we doing, you know, enough? And I know, you know, you're talking to them, you're counseling them, you're helping them with stuff. We do it in, you know, in, in the Success Center as well, where I work. But do you think of, can you think of a need that, you know? It, it sounds very small when I say it out loud, but encouragement is one thing. Um, and just help with... Uh, not really a, a full-blown crisis situation, but a bump in the road. Um, sure. A lot of times students may have a situation arise. It could be that their car is broken down and they don't have transportation. And, and it could be many different things, but students will oftentimes go into panic mode and drop their courses and say, well, I, I, my car is broken, I can't go to school, I have to drop out. Or my mother is sick, I have to take care of her, I have sure. to drop my courses. Sure. And before they have time to think things through, they have withdrawn from their courses. And um, really, if they just had a few days and somebody to talk to about how to work that out, maybe they would stay enrolled and not go through all that. Because a lot of times, we can help students and we can refer students um, to other agencies that can help where you might just maybe miss a day or two of mm -hmm. courses. You know, or it could be a situation where you can pick up some online courses sure. because we have courses that begin in August and then we have courses that begin, you know, later on in the semester. Yes. So if something really big happens, you, you might still be able to be enrolled and complete the semester. I tell students all the time, some, you know, if you have situations, you know, especially if you're trying to get out of certain situations, you know, education is going to help you. That's the and thing. A lot of times that's the first thing they give up on. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I tell them all the time, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on this. Let's you know, and, and you were saying if they miss a day, sometimes if they miss a week, if you're keeping in touch with your, your instructor, if you're letting your instructor know what's what's going on, I truly don't know of any instructor on this campus who wouldn't work with a student. Right. I don't either. And, I don't and know that's any. that's the big thing is yes. to make sure to, to keep those uh, uh, lines of communication open. Mm -hmm. And I think with when you're encouraging your students, and I've seen you do it, I know you do, <clears throat> uh, when you're encouraging them and they, they know that they can come to you. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times your, your voice is the voice that they, you know, I tell my students all the time, it's like, okay, my voice is going to become that voice that, you, you know, you have in your head telling you what to do and what not to do. Yeah. Uh, can you think of anything that, that we can do to help? How can people donate to the food pantry? They can call me at 601-484-8836 um, and say, hey, we want to, my Sunday school class wants to donate to the pantry. Um, just call me and let me know and I'll give you all the information and um, or someone could email me at B as in Brenda B Fortson at M at Meridian CC dot edu I don't know my own email address <laughs> um, and also if there's any student listening or any parent who wants to um, encourage your 
female non-traditional student to be part of a mentoring program. We have our first meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the MCC Chapel activity room. Um, we've had the mentoring program before. Last year we didn't have enough students to follow through with the program, but we do have enough this year, but we have room for more. So if you're interested in having a mentoring partner, whether you want to be a mentor or a mentee, I love that. Uh, you could call that number or email me or show up tomorrow to the chapel at 10 o'clock. Um, that's going to be our first meeting and then we'll provide a lot of information and move on from there. Thank you so much, Dr. Fortson. Thank you. Uh, I hope you come back and see us again. I certainly will. We'll be right back. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined. I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings. And we are here with Ms. Jamila uh, Coleman-Brown, and you are Adult Basic Education Instructor yes. mm -hmm. at our uh, uh, ABE uh, Center. Yes. So uh, how's everything going over there? It's going well, going well. You'll have a lot of students yes. coming in? Yes, uh-huh. We have, have an overflow of students. Oh, <laughs> always. <laughs> have you had, uh, have you started the new, uh, uh, you, you're on a continuous Yes, cycle, we are, we are um, year round. Okay. Um, and so we are in our second term of the semester. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, but today we are talking about something else, something yes, near and dear are, to my heart. We are talking about the um, our annual Martin Luther King commemorative celebration that will be held in January okay. of 2020. Okay, mm -hmm. and because uh, uh, we're on the same committee, you're, yes. the, you're the head of the committee, but uh, on that day on uh, in uh, January, it's January 15th, that's a Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a guest speaker. Yes. And we'll have some refreshments. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, uh, we also will be presenting, hopefully, some uh, awards. Yes, we um, we do always have student participation um, with um, an essay. But this year we're going to we're going to do a little bit different and have a creative project okay. for the local schools and actually college to participate. And so um, we are just asking for. Um, the middle schools um, to to um, allow their students to participate in the creative project with either an essay, a poem, a spoken word, rap, song, just whatever is creative. Okay. And we will open it up to um, the middle school, 7th, 8th grade, okay. um, and the high school, 9th, 10th grade, 11th, 12th grade, and college. Okay, so we're going to have four sections. Yes, four uh, categories. 7th, 8th grade, mm -hmm. 9th, 10th grade, yes. 11th, 12th grade, yes. college. And college. Okay, and mm -hmm. so we're looking for, we, we will be looking for first place, first place, second place, third place. What are we looking for? First place, second place, third place. Okay. And the um, first place winner will receive a monetary award. Okay. Um, second and third place will receive um, other awards also. Okay, okay. So, and they, we will tell, we will, uh, 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 Tell the winners on uh, January 15th. On January right? the 15th. There is a deadline, however, um, uh, the first week of December okay. um, for all of the projects to be turned in. Okay. And the winner will be announced um, so that they can participate and um, be present at our ceremony. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And we've had some good participation in the past. Yes, we have had great participation in the past from you know our local schools. Um, Lamar, and as well as Rus Russell Christian School, even St. Patrick, and our homeschool association. Okay. Um, and so this year we wanted to to get some college participation also. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, I, and I'm I'm truly hoping that we have some some very creative projects. Yes. Because we've said that, uh, and, and I'm. In fact, you know, full disclosure, I'm one of the ones that was pushing for mm -hmm. this, you know, because I'm like, we read essays all the time. Let them do something. Yes, something creative. And so creative. we say, uh -huh. if you want to do a video, uh, one to two minutes, a you know, yes. short play or, mm -hmm. you know, something, anything that, that uh, uh, has to do with our particular theme. Right. And what is our particular theme for the year? Our theme is the reemergence of hope. Uh, we must um, accept infinite disappointment but never lose infinite hope. And this was... 
from Martin Luther King. Now that last part, we must accept infinite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Yes. Uh, so we're taking his quote. And exactly. We've, we've made it into the reemergence of hope. Re so they have to do hope. something along those lines. Yes, something okay. along those lines of, of the faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important for us to engage young people in uh, uh, our program or in Dr. King's uh, 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 lessons. Yes, the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King just lives on and it's so important for our youth today to know um, of his his legacy and and all that he stood for. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can continue, you know, and, and we're hoping, let's say we've had good participation in the past, but we're hoping for even greater participation yes. with this. And, and how much did you say it was, uh, the first prize is? The first prize is a $50, $50 um, award. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, uh, we're hoping to have a good, a, a good speaker. Yes. Uh, we've, we've talked about some mm -hmm. of that. But do, can you think of anything else that we can do to outreach into the community to help you know, get the word out? You know? We have always had great community support um, from our community leaders just down to the citizens of Meridian. And we just encourage everyone to come out and support Meridian Community College, but as well as the students, the young people okay. who, who are, um, we would like to showcase on that day. And they, as I said, we, uh, we've, I, I get to read a lot of these essays and, yes. and help with that. And they're just absolutely amazing. Can anyone come to our program on January 15th? Yes, everyone is welcome. We welcome the community, our community leaders, even our, our area schools, um, student participation. We just welcome everyone. And how long does it typically last? It's going to start at 1. It starts at 1 o'clock and usually lasts about an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you think we're going to have millions of people there this year? I hope it's millions. <laughs> <laughs> so the this uh, uh, creative project, it mm -hmm. has to be turned in the first week of December. Yes. So we will send uh, the criteria out to all of the local schools. Correct. And the homeschool association so they know mm -hmm. and they'll have at least a month to six weeks yes, to get that done. To get that done. And then so once we have everything, then we will go through the process of, mm -hmm. of deciding who is uh, uh, the first, second, and third. Do yes. we do just first, second, and third? Do we do honorable mentions? First, second, third. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll do first, second, and thirds. And I'm really hoping that we can have some of the uh, uh, winners uh, on the show. Yes, and that would we be can, great. Uh, uh, showcase some mm -hmm. of their talents. Talents, yes. I hope that you're that you will come back and talk to us and let, oh, you know, maybe sure. if we can do a yes. post show after mm -hmm. the after the 15th and yeah. to see how things went. That will be so wonderful. Will you come back? I sure will. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Lowell. Okay. We'll be right back. Meridian Community College Arts and Letters Series is proud to present Annie Jr. The show begins Saturday, November 2nd and goes through Sunday, November 3rd in the McCain Theater. For tickets, visit our Eagle's Nest Bookstore or call 601 518 3502. Audiences of all ages will be charmed by the plucky Annie and her never ending positivity against the cruel Miss Hannigan. Call 601 518 3502. Okay, and we are here with Dr. Caraway. And Dr. Caraway, I've known a number of years. How long have we known each other? Over 20. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> now, what do you teach here at Meridian Community I teach College? Chemistry. Chemistry, okay. Yes. And I think you actually left a class. To come here this morning. I did. Okay. Were the students yeah. upset? Uh, uh, they were. They were devastated. <laughs> and you're devastated. also devastated. Because I, I usually get to campus pretty early, but you have always even beat me getting here in the morning. Really? Sometimes. Yes. I think Would you, you please did. tell the dean? I shall. Okay. I, 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 okay. Immediately afterwards. Uh, but today we wanted to talk about some exciting news, something that we've been doing for a while now that is, uh, yeah, I am very, very excited about. And it is our connection to NASA. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. And what is that connection? What are we doing? Well, we have several connections okay. to NASA for Can many you years. Can you like, you know, the space station? Uh, right. <laughs> Is that possible? Well, uh, you can send your name to the space station, I think. Okay. okay. But, but I cannot send you. I think the, the general age I am and the shape I'm in, I'm thinking no. I have those, <laughs> I have those issues okay. myself. Okay. It, anyway, um, for, for many years, about 20 years, um, MCC has been a part of the Mississippi NASA Space Grant Consortium. Okay. Dr. Kathy Baxter took advantage of that opportunity many years ago. Yes, she did. Um, and I happen to be the campus coordinator for that. 
our participation participation in the Space Grant Consortium led to an invitation from NASA for Meridian Community College to participate in NCOS, which okay. is the NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars Program. Okay. Um, NCOS has been going on uh, at NASA centers for quite a few years, and it's their, uh, their one program, as I understand it, that is exclusive to community college students. But they have decided to expand, okay. and we uh, are one of six community colleges nationwide that are participating in this pilot program. Okay. Um, NCOS consists of uh, an application process, okay. um, and it also, uh, if the student is accepted, there's a five-week online course run by NASA. Okay. But then, those who do well enough and, and when I say well enough, uh, well enough in terms of that course is a 70 or better. Okay. They are invited to participate in what NASA calls an on-site event. Okay, so and you went to the on-site event last? I have observed two oh on-site events. Well, I just remember talking to you, this was last, was it March or April? Uh, last, at Mar well, one of those. Miss Bishop and I, Valerie Bishop, right. one of our uh, biology instructors and the science division chair, okay. and I went to an on-site event at Ames Research Center in, uh, at, the, at the north end of Silicon Valley in oh California. And last how October. How was that? Well, if there is a tech company, we saw its building. <laughs> Was it a good visit? It was a great visit. Okay, it was was a it great just visit. the two of you? Or it was you... just the two of us okay. uh, from MCC. Okay. Uh, and we, we observed an on-site event. Okay. And then we were scheduled to have um, our, our own, uh, uh, excuse me, we were scheduled to help host one uh, at Kennedy Space Center and the government shut down, shut down. Okay. So we rescheduled for Stennis Space Center, and yes. we went there in July, and if you remember, I do. there's a rocket engine test video circulating on Facebook. I saw that, that was, it was absolutely wonderful. It you was. came back so excited. Yes. So excited that, because I, I, you know, I, we had talked about me going, and, yeah. I, and I said next year, I'm going. I, I don't care what I have to do, I'm going, because y'all were so excited about this. That actually was a different visit to Stennis, Stennis okay. Space Center, okay. and we're planning on your going in February. Excellent. Or I'm, March. I'm, I'm we have to set to it up. Okay. Um, now, why is this important? This is, all of these visits are important because MCC is hosting our very first on-site event at this campus later this month in about a week and a half. Okay. And so we have 25 students. Three of those students are MCC students. Okay. But we have 25 students who are participating. They're coming from around the nation. We will have several NASA employees on site. We will have guest speakers. We will have lots and lots of things. It is a retreat, so to speak, for the students, and they are able to network. They, they will have mentors. Some of our employees are mentors. Excellent. Some of our alumni are mentors. Um, they will be placed into four teams, and the context for that is these four teams will be competing for a NASA contract for a Mars rover. So a big part of it is a Lego robotics competition, uh -huh. and um, they will be given uh, a budget and they will basically act as a real contractor would. They'll have to do progress reports, uh, they'll have to do presentations, they'll have or to have a company road. name, all kind of stuff. Wonderful. And, uh, and then, uh, of those 25 students who are here, one of them, and there, there will be, it's a competitive process, but one of them will be selected by NASA, not by us, uh, to have an internship at NASA next summer. Oh my, oh my. And, um, it will so the 25 students, you said three from Rennie Community yes. College and the other the other 22 are from around the country? Around the country. We've okay. got one from Coahoma okay. Community College okay. and the others are all from out of state. Okay, and so all of these people will be coming to Rennie Community College and they will compete. Yes. They'll have four teams and they will compete for this robotics 
a, a grant of a sort. And then there's also the possibility of, a, of an internship next summer. Oh my God, Correct. oh my goodness, okay. Correct. <laughs> well, and all, all of them will be allowed to interact with NASA staff. They all will be given the information on internships. They'll be told how they can apply for internships, but one of them will we'll receive actually, a guaranteed spot. Wonderful. And yes. at the end of our own side of it, our commitment to the pilot project will be concluded but we have applied to participate in the expansion. All right. And we will know for sure if we are selected in January. Okay. And if we are selected, we will be heavily recruiting community college students within our state not to become MCC students, although we would love that, right, but right. to participate in um, the program for the next four years. Oh my goodness. Yes. Uh, will you please come back and see us? I will. And maybe if we go, to, well, when we go, when we uh, go. we're going to have video from. Yes. And, and, uh, and so I, I look forward to this. It's very exciting. Yes. Thank you so much for being You're here. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back. Looking for a better future? Meridian Community College can take your education to new heights. Join us for the Eagle Experience and see the view from the top. Tour around campus, hear from our award-winning students, talk with instructors from many of our incredible programs, and find out what it's like to be an Eagle. Join us Friday, October 25th at MCC. Learn more and pre-register at www.meridiancc.edu. Meridian Community College, find your wings. Our students have been out and about all over campus, doing things, seeing things, videotaping, all of it. Please be careful though, they're fanatic vegans and they have an aversion to Velcro. Do you have a passion for graphic design? MCC offers a two-year graphic design program that produces an associate's degree when completed. I talked with Daniel Etheridge who said this about his program. In the uh, MCC graphic design technology program, we are all about graphic design. We study graphic design, it's a full two-year program and we offer an AA degree in graphic design. Etheridge also spoke on requirements to join the program. To enter the graphic design program, the first and foremost thing is that a person really needs to love graphic design and they need to know that they want to be a graphic designer. Um, and that is the key thing. Uh, you do have to have um, the ability to take tests and to understand logic and there are interest exam there is an entrance examination that a person would need to take. Uh, also, uh, that could be waived if you had a high score on your ACT. Etheridge also spoke on different jobs you can get with a graphic design degree. After you leave the graphic design program, you would probably be able to uh, find a position in, a, in the print industry, the digital media industry, and there's lots of uh, opportunities available for you. Um, if a person wanted to start their own business, they could do that. They could work as a graphic designer in a print shop, an advertising agency, uh, developing websites, developing digital media. Um, the sky's the limit. Uh, we've had people to leave here and work uh, for film production companies. Uh, we've had people to leave here and work for uh, corporations, ad agencies. Uh, print shops, you name it. This is Zach Bateman with MCC Today. I'm John Noll with your MCC update. Are you looking to get some exercise this month? Well, the Science, Wellness, and Fitness Division is offering free water aerobics classes at the Damon Fitness Center every Friday in the month of October. Everyone who wants to come is invited. Maybe you're more of an art person? The Miller Art Gallery will finally be opening its doors on October 15th. The gallery will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and will open with drawings from Susan and Tom Naraki. And finally, mark your calendars, MCC's Veterans Day is coming soon. The program starts on November 7th at 11 a.m. and will be held at the Graham Gymnasium. The program pays tribute to our nation's veterans and their contributions to the country. Anyone is welcome to attend. Thanks for joining me on your MCC update. I'm John Knoll. On behalf of our director, Matt Milner, our consultant, Josh Taylor, and our student producer, Brittany Hogans, thank you for watching today. We try to be cutting edge, as cutting edge as possible. I'm not wearing socks.